My Peace, Polar and Bi, Episode 2, is a visual representation of what it's like to have bipolar disorder. I would want the viewer to understand it's all about opposites. The color schemes, oranges and purples, the textures are smooth and rough. It gives you an idea of the extremes of the uh, thoughts that you can have. Well, I thought the theme of ebb and flow is kind of a, well, it describes all of life. Um, we as people, we have a season of flowing, then we have a time of ebbing. And it really can apply to any topic. I thought it was very versatile. I would hope that the viewers would understand that I can take the um, emotions from bipolar disorder and harness them in a positive way. Um, the feelings can actually increase my natural creativity and you can take it from there and go and experience a lot of new ideas. This process was a little different because I started at the top instead of, and I moved downward instead of going up from the bottom. I. Um, I work out of my scrap bins. I typically start with a color scheme. Uh, and this one was oranges and purples. And then I uh, assemble unique textures and materials that go together and I work in segments. And uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. I definitely have no plan for, for when I work with a piece. It, it's usually quite haphazard. Um, again, I usually decide on a color scheme ahead of time but um, that's about it. And um, in this piece here, as I worked downward and assembled the different units, I didn't realize what it was about until it was halfway through. And sometimes you go back and you take something off, you put something in. It's, it's quite organic, definitely. Well, I find that, that being an artist and creating art is not just important. For me, it's, it's a, a deep need. If if I don't spend a lot of time in the studio, I'm a really crabby person. You don't want to be around me. I um I just truly enjoy sitting in my studio and and looking at all the art supplies and the bright colors and creating and it's just a real it's just a real satisfying activity. I love to find odds and ends at um, resale shops. Sometimes people send me stuff, but I have um, these men's ties that are, oh, in the 1970s, they wore these string country western ties and they're made out of wool and I unravel them. And the texture of the wool is fascinating. Um, I've used a lot of strange materials such as dryer dryer lint or the inside of my uh, ironing board S stuffing I, I made a mistake and washed it it was all over the place but I, I took it out of the dryer and I, I looked at it and I thought wow this is cool so I painted it and there it was right there on the quilt got into an exhibit 